Hello guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to practice some programs of dictionary data structure. So uh, we have three programs uh, for the sake of practice, which we have learned so far in dictionary. All right. Uh, so the first program we have is uh, input a number from the user and pass it through a function and return its cube in the form of dictionary. So uh, for example, if the user entered four, so and then we have to print so the output must be appeared like this that first its value and the second is first the key of the dictionary and the second the cube so you can see that in the second element we have in the key we have two and the output we have eight the cube of the key so in the same uh, it reaches at the fourth value with which the user entered here so uh, before proceeding further <clears throat> let's pause this program and uh, try to make it this program by yourself so i hope you tried this program now let's make so first uh, it says that we have to input a number so i i am going to store the number in variable i and i am using i am going to input this number in integer data structure that is why I'm, i am using integer enter a number to pass it through a function so the function the name of the function suppose cube because we are creating cube here and n is the argument of the function so uh, we have to return a dictionary so uh, i have to create an empty dictionary i am naming it d so d is our empty dictionary which we will return at the last of the function and then i am going to use for loop in i have to use the range function uh, for to give it this type of pattern and from 1 to n plus 1 all right so uh, suppose if user entered 4 so first it will print 1 and then it will print n plus 2 which is so you have to write comma here and 2 and then 3 and 4 and when it is reaches with maximum value which is 4 then the program will break then the for loop will break all right and then i'm going to store it variable is equals to so i'm going to store its cube value so i'm so as we know that exponent we are using two stars for the power of i and then we have to we have to add those values in our dictionary so uh, we can use index index assigning method in dictionary which we have learned in previous videos so d i we have variable so i am i am assigning each variable in d dictionary so at the last i can return d and then i can call our function which is cube and i is the argument of the function and then as you can see if i run this program it is asking enter a number so i entered 4 and press enter you can see that this is the same output which is required up uh, is appearing at the output you can see that four the value the key is four and the value is the cube of the key which is 64 so uh, we can also change it if i uh, write here six and press enter you can see that now the value reaches the key is six and the value is the cube of the six all right now let's move to another program so in an so in second program we have to count how many characters how many times a character exists in a string uh, which is maybe a name or anything a string and return it in a dictionary data structure so for example if i input my name and the program will count each variable including space uh, this program will count 
in its place is 1 so it is counting it one time you can see that here it is counting space is 1 so that a is appearing two times so it is count a is appearing at two times and i is appearing at two times uh, so this program will count the existence of each variable in a particular string so uh, now now again pause this video and try to make this program by yourself so i hope uh, you tried this program now let's make it together so So uh, we have two input as three. So I am going to name it as, and I am using input to input a string from the user and enter a string. All right, enter a string, and then I am going to pass it through the function. So all these program, all in all these program, we are using functions. So it is also the good practice of functions also plus dictionary. All right. Now I am going to say that a string is our fun name of the function, and suppose a is our argument of the function, and then uh, in again we have to return dictionary. So I have to make a dictionary which is empty, and we will use it at the end of the function. And then I am using again for loop to add to to add each character to add each character in our dictionary i have to use for loop i in so argument a all right now how can we count each character so for this i have to use directly i can add count and directly add so i a dot count i so uh, in this step uh, we are counting each character and add in in our d dictionary so when all the variables and so and when all the characters are counted and we can re directly return we can directly return here d uh, which is the dictionary and then we can print our function which is a string and s is the argument of the function and as you can see for in this program sorry uh, there is a mistake so invalid syntax in line 10 yes i have to i cannot use curly brackets here i have to use square brackets all right yes for indexing method i have to use, use square brackets and then i run this program you can see it is asking suppose i write my full name and then i press enter you can see that it is also counting the space here and also a is appearing two times because in the in my name it is two times and i and r so this is the same pattern we have the output is required so you can also write your name and check how many characters are repeating all right now uh, the last and the third program we have uh, we have to input a dictionary and print its keys and values in a vertical order so uh, so you have to input a dictionary in this program so let's uh, so first try to do this program by yourself pause this video so i hope you try this program by yourself and now let's make it together so uh, first we have to input a dictionary so to input a dictionary i have i have to you i have to create an empty dictionary and then i can add each keys and values one by one so first this is our empty dictionary so first i am going to use name to input the name of the user all right sorry e enter name so enter name so age enter age so first uh, we are adding uh, we are uh, asking the name of the user and the age of the user and then 
we can ask for the favorite movies all right input enter your favorite movies so we can write here in enter your favorite movies so there are more than one favorite movies the user can enter so i have to use a split a split method here and the split in the split method uh, i am using comma so here so the user can write more than one elements separating from the comma uh, the split method uh, we have also discussed in previous videos uh, if you don't understand it uh, you can also watch my previous videos uh, for input function so and then another key we have is favorite games so you can write here favorite games also so input so again we have more than one elements here enter your favorite games so again uh, there are more than one so I'm going to use a split method again and again we have comma separated input the E should be capital so now uh, these so these are all the things uh, which are which we are needed to input from the user and then we are going to add the all these things into user dictionary now let's do this user so the key is name and the value is name so that uh, we know that name will store the value which user entered as his or her name and then again user and then we have the key name is age and the variable name is age again user and favorite movies and the variable name we can directly copy from here so we don't need to write it again and again and then again user favorite games favorite games so uh, these all the things will be entered in our dictionary so uh, that's we can call it uh, the dictionary which is input from the user and then uh, we have to print all its keys and values in vertical so i can use for loop so i comma j i'm using two variables so i will store all the keys and j variable will store all the values of the for loop and then in user so i am using dot items method to print it in vertical form items this method uh, we had also discussed in previous videos in dictionary tutorials print so uh, to print all these values i am using a string formatting i j so as we discussed that i will i store the all the keys and j store all the values of the dictionary so as you can see if i run this program so the name is this age is this so favorite movies suppose m1 comma m2 so we, i am writing two you can write three or four whatever and press enter into favorite games game one g1 and g2 all right and press enter so now you can see here all the values uh, starting from here name age and 
you can see all the keys and values are appearing at the vertical form and uh, we also learn that how can we input a dictionary so this is all about today i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new and you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos and also do share this video with your family and friends thank you very much for watching